In our previous video, we configured automatic device configuration in our Compact Logix PLC for our PowerFlex 525 drive. In this video, we're going to go through the steps that you would actually do to replace the drive. So I've completely reset this drive so it's just like it is new out of the box. And to show two of the parameters we highlighted last time, I'm going to go into the configuration and let's have a look at P46. And it's at the default of 1 and P47 is also at the default at 1. The first step is going to be to assign an IP address, and we're going to use the PLC tool SIM IP to do that. We're going to select Discover Device, and the PowerFlex 525 is making a boot P request. I'm going to click OK, and I am going to assign this to 192.168.1.192, so I'm just going to click OK to that, and it says, do you want to set it to static? And I do. And now the really cool part about automatic device configuration is once we have the IP address set, we can simply plug it back onto the network. And momentarily, we're going to get a fault F048, and then we're going to see the PowerFlex reboot. And if we go back into our parameters and check out P46, it's now at 5, which is Ethernet IP, and P47 is back at 15, which is Ethernet IP. Now that is coming from this Compact Logics PLC. And if you missed that video, then I've created this playlist right here with it and several other good PowerFlex exercises.